With only two races left in the Clean Coal Endurance Series, Laguna Seca is critical for points. Welcome to Mass Race News. Hello everybody and welcome to Matt's Race News. I know I have not posted a video in a while. Sorry for the lighting, it's not the greatest right now. It's not daytime. <laughs> Nighttime. Daytime! That's a YouTube video. You should watch that. It's amazing. But either way, as you heard, Laguna Seca, I missed a few clean coal endurance series races. When I say a few, I mean a lot. And uh, so let's get into the Matt's Race News Grand Prix at Mazda Laguna, Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. That's right, we had our name. We had this. For the clean coal endurance series. Really cool. And uh, first, we're going to get into the DTM Sports Series race. Mike Rockefeller uh, won for Audi. A great race. Um, obviously, the DTM Sports Series races are shorter, but still, nonetheless, a great mm -hmm. race. And uh, and Ryan Ottle, uh, 13 0 1 6, won the DTM Sports Series championship, actually. So uh, I'm a little bit bummed that I didn't, one well, of my drivers didn't win. Come on, Tyler Williams and me. Step it up. Either way, let's get into the Clean Coal Endurance Series race, the Mass Race News Grand Prix. So, uh, the Audis, as the DTM race showed, are dominating early for the prototypes. So I'm going to move up a little bit. So uh, their prototypes, uh, the Audis are just doing phenomenal in that class. And the Ed Jones and Matt Faust, that kid Matt Faust, in the GT Series, are battling each other out. Uh, Matt Faust kind of falls back a little bit, and then he's going to have to fight with uh, Kyle Thomas for second place, which we'll talk about later in the show. And then later on, uh, Kyler Boggs is still leading him in his Audi early. And then for the GT field, Ed Jones just pulls away, showing that he is still having a great dominant season in his Viper. So halfway through, the Audis, we've seen it, they've pulled on pit road, and that's what's cost them you know, the win. You know, that's what's cost them some of the points on why they are behind in the prototype series. And they come down. This could cost them the race once again. And then after the Audi's pit, Weston Miller passes Graham Riley, and the Toyotas are now running one So Now it went from an Audi race to a Toyota race. So we're seeing that. Eddie Jones still in the GT class pulling away. And then Weston Miller does pick up his second win of the season at Laguna Seca. And Toyotas get their second win of the season. Ed Jones getting both, or not Ed Jones, Weston Miller getting both of those wins, sorry. And then for the GTs, Ed Jones now uh, gets, uh, finishes with his second race win for the Vipers. Now, uh, also for the GTs, Kyler Thomas did win against that kid, Matt Faust, so he got second. So then the running order was Kyle Tom, or Ed Jones, Kyle Thomas, and then Matthew Faust. Kyle edge that one out. Now getting into your points for the prototypes. Dave Bland has 45 points. Looking really good for him. Basically, I think he only has to start the race. So I'm not 100% sure. Mr. Cuffy 3 at 30 points. Chris Aurelio and Graham Riley are both tied for third at 28 points. For the GT Series, this, this is crucial because there are some points that can be made up here for the championship. Eddie Jones, with his two wins, has 37 points. Matt Faust also has two wins. Uh, with 32 points, so he's only 5 behind, and then Brian LaFleur Jr. is only 7 behind. So if a Corvette could win, and Eddie Jones and Matt Faust have not-so-good days, we could see the Corvette come from... I mean, they did great at the beginning of the season, don't get me wrong, but they did not run too well all year. Brian LaFleur was the points leader at the beginning of the year for the Corvettes, but they just didn't have the cars to uh, compete with everybody day or race in, race out, week in, week out. So if we could see that, that would be... Fantastic! I would love to see a Corvette win. At Matt Faust, kid, I don't know. I'd really like to see his BMW win. I have no idea why I want to see Matt Faust win. I have no clue. Well, nothing's clicking up here right now. But either way, this has been Matt's Race News. I will see you all hopefully next week. Also, buddy, I'm actually going to feature you. The Bug Grand National is on Tuesday. This video is uploaded either Tuesday or or Monday night. I am not sure when I can get this upload, or maybe Wednesday. So make sure you check out the Bug Grand National, BWP2933 uh, on his Instagram, and you can watch the hashtag Bud Grand National. Make sure you use the hashtag BudGN500 on Instagram to promote the race, and uh, I'm sure you'll see the picture that you can post, or you can just post any picture. You can post a picture of Daytona. Whatever. Just use that hashtag. Get it trending. If we could get that trending, that'd be something to say. And I don't think many people can say that, you know, their Instagram race was trending. So it would be really cool to see that for Buddy. And uh, this has been Matt's, Matt, not Matt's Race News. 
and we are signing off. Cheerspin!